In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Excel to add Google Analytics URL tracking parameters to your MSN Ad Center text ads. Uh, and before we get started, I wanted to uh, say thanks to our friends over at eBuyScience.com for letting us use uh, their Ad Center account for this uh, real-world example. And uh, let's get started. I'm going to first uh, show you what. Uh, the text ad looks like inside of uh, Ad Center Desktop. And as you can see, here is a destination URL with no tracking parameters. And the goal of this exercise will be to add all of the Google Analytics uh, tracking parameters uh, to each and every one of these ad destination URLs. And the Google Analytics tracking parameters are going to look like this. So you can use this wizard our URL builder to build individual uh, tracking URLs but it's going to be pretty time consuming uh, and what we're going to want to do is to automate the process using Excel for bulk bulk uploads and so uh, just to get an example of uh, what a URL is going to look like when it is uh, built out we're going to put in here a landing page URL uh, the source is MSN, medium is cost per click uh, we're going to put in an example keyword, window lettering and we're going to put in a fake uh, ad headline here and here is our campaign and you hit generate URL and this is what you come up with so it's going to give you the format, it's going to give you all of the uh, variables that need to be populated so I'm going to copy that over and put that in our spreadsheet just so we know what a URL is supposed to look like when it's uh, properly built out alright so let's, let's find out what the data looks like when we uh, export it from Ad Center. So if I was to come in here, highlight an entire campaign, we're going to do a bulk uh, export of all of these text ads and then append the uh, proper tracking URLs. So I'm going to highlight all of these ads and then I'm going to do copy to Excel. And here we go. So this is what it looks like when you when you uh, export those ads. Uh, from the Ad Center desktop, and we're not going to need these two columns. So we're going to go ahead and delete those out. We're not going to need the uh, ad IDs. We can delete those out, and we're also not going to use status. Uh, in fact, the rest of this we won't need. Let's see. what my computer is doing. So we are left with uh, these columns. We have campaign, ad group, ad title, ad text, the display URL, and the destination URL. And as you can see, here's all of our individual landing pages without any tracking code or tracking parameters. And we're going to take this uh, download from Ad Center Desktop modify it using Excel formulas and then we'll show you how to upload it back into the account to, to update all the existing uh, text ads. Alright, and I'll show you how I came up with, uh, I knew that I only needed these columns too. If you go back into Ad Center Desktop and you come here to multiple changes and you'll see this window pop up. We're going to select number two here. and we're going to hit next and here are the required column headers for our input All right, so we can cancel that for now let's go back to our spreadsheet and we will be transferring this over to the spreadsheet that actually builds out the URLs let me show you that real fast so the way this works is here's an example I've got my base URL which would be the landing page URL campaign name Ad group, ad title, ad text, and the display URL. And here is our master formula that we'll use to uh, to fix all of the other destination URLs. And here you can see I'm doing a concatenate formula. A4 is our base URL, and UTM source is hard coded as MSN since this is specific for the Ad Center uh, text ads. Of course, if you wanted to uh, use the same type of formula for another uh, another campaign like Yahoo you could always uh, code this differently. Uh, the medium is hard coded as cost per click as well and here we have our campaign variable and you'll notice that I'm using a URL and code formula 
and I've included uh, inside of this workbook. I'll, I'll provide it for you to download uh, on the blog post as well, but there is some code behind this. If I can find it, there it is. So here's the code that makes the URL encoding uh, possible. And what that'll do is uh, it allows you to uh, have spaces and, and, and et cetera over in this area, and it's going to encode it properly. All right, and then we have the term, and we're going to use this dynamic uh, variable or a parameter that MSN provides. Is uh, you got the curly bracket keyword and um, that'll put in our keyword dynamically so we don't have to hard code that the uh, tracking uh, the URL tracking at the keyword level in the account we can do it at the ad level which is going to make it a little bit easier for us uh, especially in the life of a campaign and content we're going to URL encode both the ad title and the ad text and so when you're looking in Google Analytics, you can look at the performance of, of individual ads. All right, so let's get started. So here you'll notice that I have base URL as the first column. And in our download, it is over here. So what we're going to want to do is Control-Shift down. We're going to highlight all of that. Just do Control-C. Come back over to our, our URL builder and Control-V and paste those in. Head back over to our download from the desktop, Ad Center desktop, and we're going to just highlight the rest. Control Shift down, copy that, and paste that right here. All right, so we have our base URL. We got the campaign in the right place. Uh, ad group is in the right place. The, the actual ad title and the ad text, and our display URL. <clears throat> so what we're going to do next is copy this master formula above, and we are going to paste it next to our individual ads. And then I'm going to double-click when I get the cross, and that's going to copy that all the way down. So now we have each of our ads properly uh, URL encoded. Let's see if I can scroll over here and let you see an, an entire... Uh, almost... Well, as you can see, you've got uh, you've got the source, the cost per click, campaign, with uh, the URL encoding, our dynamic uh, keyword um, parameter that MSN allows for, and our content is also URL encoded, as you can see. All right. So the next step would be to to copy. All of this. So we're going to copy that, come back over to our Ad Center desktop and make multiple changes. And again, we're going to select uh, campaigns and ad groups are specified in the text ad data. Hit next. All right, so here it tells us the first row must contain column headings. Uh, your data must include all required fields, but the columns can be in any order. All right. And we are going to paste. And there's all the data. Here's our destination URLs, properly encoded for Google Analytics tracking. And we will hit next. All right, and as you can see, it is giving us 91 changes to text ads. And we can hit finish. And there they are. And as you can see here, here's our destination URL, and it is coded for Google Analytics. And it also has the proper URL uh, encoding so that it won't break. All right. Well, as I said, I'll provide this spreadsheet for download, and hopefully uh, you'll find a use for it.